Ixalan is here and you guys know I love my Azorius artifacts and let me tell you guys Ixalan brought a lot of new pieces and this one has got to be my new favorite deck I'm telling you it's an absolute banger That's right, today we are playing in the early access event and we've got ourselves some new Ixalan cards and we're trying out some new standard and artifacts were on my mind immediately because I saw a card during the previous season, Thousands, Moons, Smithy, and this card is insane. Um, it works a lot like my one of my favorite cards, Urza's Command. It creates this construct token that's power and toughness are equal to the amount of artifacts we control and creatures, which gives it another added bonus there. Um, and then you can always flip this over later in the game, creating a land that can repeatedly just make these tokens over and over again. So this right here is going to be our win con, and we're gonna cheat it a little bit with Teferi because we're gonna be untapping it and re-tapping it over and over again for even more tokens. It's kind of insane. But we've also got a new card in a call. A call is gonna allow us to basically take two cards off the top of our deck every single turn pick one out that we want, put the other one into the graveyard every time we get an artifact on the field. So this thing is a card value machine. We've also got a sweeper, an artifact that sweeps the entire board except for one creature on both sides, a creature with two power or less, which the only two creatures we have are two power or less, which is fantastic. And then we've got a top end with the Chamil. This thing is sweet. It's able to basically discover five, getting you a five mana or below permanent onto the battlefield every single turn. And we're typically gonna pitch this to the graveyard and and uh, we have a lot of, you know, active things that put things into the graveyard. So the Brilliant Restoration is on the top end to reanimate everything at the very, very end of the game. And then lastly, we have the Master's Guide Mural, another artifact that spits out golems. And then it can become transformed into an artifact that can be tapped and untapped with the fairy over and over again, creating even more golems. And we're trying out the brand new removal and get lost. Let me tell you, I'm a fan. But we're going to jump into it, guys. Enjoy the video. If you guys are new here, we post videos just like this five days a week. So if you enjoy this kind of content, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. With that being said, enjoy the video. We'll see you at the end. Peace out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the early access event where we get access to the Ixalan cards a little bit early. And today, man, we are kicking things off with some artifacts. This deck looks so sweet. Uh, been wanting to try something around this card for a minute now. Um, I, you know, took a look at the new cards, this card, and then the card that allows us to spit out a bunch of golems over and over again were two cards that immediately jumped off the page to me. And I, I wanted to see if I could, you know, build something with those two things together. And this is what we came up with. Let's see what we can do here. I like our hand because we've got the vault very early here, which is not only going to, you know, find us the cards we need but it's also going to create treasure tokens which can be sacrificed later for um you know melding two cards together we got a portal here not too sure what's going on yet um i probably won't know what's going on at all to be honest on the other side of the field because everything is brand new everyone's trying out new cards and uh it should be a very interesting day glimpse the core choose one search your library for a basic forest card put it in the battlefield tabs okay all right, I am going to try to get this down. We are up against green white, probably no removal for this, but we did just get some really sweet removal in white, like get lost, so who knows? If they hit us with a get lost though, we do get those tokens, which could be helpful. And uh, the get lost, honestly, this is the type of deck that I've uh, prepared for with this card. This is exactly why I wanted this card is for the fight rigging. They choose dinosaur, okay. Man, I love, love, love to get this down, but I need to make sure my get lost is ready to go on this because if they find a creature here um, and they throw it down and immediately flip this, it could be bad for us. Probably drop this, get the treasure. What's nice about this too is um, the uh, a call here is going to be able to get us another card because of the treasure entering the battlefield, which is so good. That's so good. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. This is the big turn right here. Let's see what they've got. It's got to be a big body, I'm sure. Yep, a 5-3. Uh, has haste whenever it enters the battlefield. Create an 0-1 dinosaur creature token. Okay. And at the beginning of combat, you know what? I'm actually going to use this to destroy this. I'm going to destroy this because without it, these eggs can't really do anything. Otherwise, the eggs would be pretty powerful. Nice, we get rewarded with a sweet top deck there. Let's go ahead and hit another get lost here, I think, on the uh, fight rigging. So let's go here. 
Brilliant Restoration is really good, so we'll probably start dropping some big artifacts here so we can get the uh, Restoration just to hit them for us. And uh, we'll pass the turn. I like it. Very nice. That's what we're looking for. That is the card of all cards for us. This is what we were building this entire deck around is the Akal and then the Thousand Moons Smithy. All right. Let's put a stop here before they go to combat because I want to destroy the fight rigging before they're able to pump anything else. All right, so they're still ramping. They're looking for some really big, big creatures to come down here, I'm sure. They may want to really look for that sweeper, um, sweeper option for us. All right. They get a land. We go here. You can have two more treasure maps. Alright, how many artifacts do we have? Just the one right now, right? Okay, we might want to start dumping off a couple more so we can make this restoration worthwhile. I didn't expect to play the restoration in game one here, but you know, if it, if it works, it works, you know? Alright, so if I do this, it's going to leave me with one mana left open. Or I could do this first and then activate it. That's pretty good. Let's do that. Innistrad has been through enough. Needs our help. And then we activate it. Let's maximize the value. You know what I mean? All right. And then we drop this. No attacks. I'll take that every day of the week, just in case they find another big creature or if they find another uh, fight rigging things are getting interesting that's for sure very very interesting that's a big dinosaur um, with trample whenever it enters the battlefield discover five let's see so it discovers five and it has an ability discard trumpeting uh carnosaur it deals three damage to target creature planeswalker okay so they can't do that one anymore so they just discover sure i like my chances here things are looking pretty good things are looking pretty good especially if i hit my sweeper this could be really solid uh any attacks probably not do we want to pull the trigger on this probably not all right my turn there's our sweeper easy as that Easy as that. <clears throat> okay. And then we... Let's go digging. Let's go digging a little bit here. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, Do we sack a treasure? No. Because we already had an artifact enter the battlefield. So we're good. Let's attack in here. That might have been a mistake to attack into the opponent here because actually now that I'm thinking about it, they can actually pump this 0-1. We should probably get more land, honestly. Plus we're filling our graveyard with more artifacts. Yeah, let's grab the land. All right, so what do we got now? We got this, this, and this. Definitely worth, you know, the brilliant restoration play this, this next turn, I think. Okay, so whenever, so it's a 2-3, whenever it enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle. And then they've got another ability tied to this where they can pay five and then turn it into a saga, where it creates dinosaurs, adds mana, does a lot of different things. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Maybe we should just destroy it with this. How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could cast this. Yeah, I could. Guess I should have uh, thought of that before they transformed it. So that's a little bit of a misstep on my part. I probably could have killed it before they transformed it. And they do pump up the three, three here. 
They find a go for the throat, which is a very solid card here because they want to get rid of my call, I would imagine. All right, we destroy this. All right. Go here. And we do one of these. Seems pretty good, man. Seems pretty good. And then do we want to go look for another card here? Do we want to untap something? I don't think we want to untap anything or gain any life. Let's go look for a card. I think we're good with that. <sighs> another great. This get lost is actually insane. All right, no attacks. Play defense here. We're going to get a free card off of... Uh... Okay, so we're going to take this and then we get a free card here off of our artifact. Let's see what we get. Nice, we get a really good card. Yes, we'll play it. So sick. So sick, dude. All right, now things are going to get really fun because this is the part of the game where we get to start looking at transforming some of these artifacts and then just running rampant with them. Things are about to get really fun. This is where things get really fun. <laughs> and Teferi's still alive. Love that. But there's a good chance they kill one of these two tokens and get through to the Teferi and kill it. I hope not, because if Teferi can stick around, we can um, untap artifacts. That's going to be where the real value is, because, you know, these artifacts are going to tap to activate their abilities. We untap them and we do them again. Now that we've got this out there, though, the, the Chamil. Oh, my God, this card is so insane, man. It's so good. They give up a Galta into the yard, which I'm imagining they're going to just reanimate, I'm sure. That's a great card on top of their deck right there. All right, so we tap one, two, three, four, five. We transform that. Um, play, the, play the land. I think we transform this. Just doing a lot of transformations here. Uh, let's sack this guy. Okay. There we go. Now we can create a 4 4 golem. We can untap this. Tap this, untap this, create another golem. And we swing through for nine? I think so. I think so. I don't think we really need to protect the Teferi, uh, Teferi anymore. Um, you know, the opponent could play some really, really big nasty things now though with as much mana as they have, but I, I'm pretty sure our 4-4 four, four should be able to protect Teferi. I definitely don't think we're going to die here. Oh, what a card. Free off the top of the deck, you know what I mean? Just bananas. Uh, let's discard you. And you. The value is never ending here, man. The value is crazy. We're just drawing, 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 and just getting free spells onto the battlefield. There's a Sunfall, which I really don't mind, because like I said, every single turn, we're going to create these tokens that are just going to keep on coming every single turn. All right, so let's start with start with this. Okay. Let's play one of these. Let's tap this. Let's tap this. Casket's pretty good here. We'll actually drop this, believe it or not. Now we'll do some on tapping. We'll untap the artifact here. We'll tap this creature here. We'll untap this here. We'll replay to create another golem. We'll create a golem here. And we'll play this for one because Urza makes things inexpensive. On real how good that is. Oh my God, and we get free cards. I almost forgot. We get this for free. And then we'll put this one in our hand because we don't want to sweep the board right now. So we got two sweepers in our hand if we need them from the dinosaurs. But I don't think their dinosaurs are going to be any bigger than my three 15, 15 <laughs> golems. <sighs> oh my God, this is so cool. This is so cool. 
Even their Galta, which is a 12-12, is no match for my 15-15s. Crazy. I love that Teferi can just on-tap and re- re- uh, re-tap everything as well. We'll decline that one. Uh, we'll, uh, play this. Transform this. We'll exile you. Exile you. We'll play this. We'll create this. Do this. Do that. Create this. And we'll swing through for ungodly amount of damage. <laughs> I mean, jeez, man. Uh, it takes a little while to get set up, but when it gets going, it really, really ramps up, man. Holy. All right, pretty good starting game right there. Uh, let's see, the opponent goes first, but I have a really decent starting hand here. I've got a good curve. Let's see what we can do with this. All right, the opponent's looking to fill up their graveyard right away. Don't you cards just discard a card unless you attacked this turn. They took back a mill to craft with a dinosaur morpho, okay. Oh, that's the one where they have to craft with all the types, okay. Interesting. Well, I did draw a get lost, so that's really nice. That'll help us spot remove any sort of nonsense like this. What is the, uh, so whenever it attacks, each opponent sacrifices an online permit and they okay. That's a lot of text. Um, okay, so that's a 6-6, six, six, but we can kill it easily here with the Urza. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? There's a lot of things we can do here. If I go Urza, go here. You know, I'm going to leave my options open. I think I'm going to go with the Vault and then a Get Lost. It's probably going to be... Um, fight rigging. That's I've been seeing a lot of that today. That's kind of like the most popular build right now. But that doesn't explain why they have so much graveyard nonsense here. It's got to be really this is their win con. It's got to be. That just happens to be their dinosaur. All right, let's go ahead and activate the ability. Let's drop one of these. All right, and then they give me another treasure, by the way, which is pretty good, honestly. That's going to get locked up. So I think I take the hit here. I think I take the hit. So we're potentially at six mana this next turn, which is pretty insane if you think about it, if we hit a land. We do hit a land, but of course it's a tap land. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go Urza here. Dang it, man. If we would have just hit one, one little land that wasn't tapped like that, we would have been good. Okay, they mill two more cards. So this ability doesn't cost anything, huh? Okay, so just keep filling up their graveyard. Can they, they can craft with a dinosaur. So the crafting ability, they, they get to craft with, um, let's see, exile, the four from long permanent you control and their cards in your graveyard. Okay, so it can be, you know, cards from the graveyard. Interesting. It has hex proof though. Sheesh, does it have haste? It doesn't have haste. Okay, good. That's also pretty good because that gives me a better target for my sweeper. Okay, we're actually in a really good place right now. We're not actually too worried about this, believe it or not. My sweeper is going to take care of all of this nonsense. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and sweep it up. Let's go ahead and sweep it up. I like it. I like it. If that thing had a haste, that would have been a serious problem. That should probably have haste, but it has hexproof, so I get why it doesn't. It makes sense. I mean, it's very, very hard to get rid of. Unless, of course, you have a sweeper. 
Oh, they got another one. Shoot. Well, then I'm going to need to find another sweeper. That's unfortunate. What's the move, bro? Consider. Okay. Imagine they played a blue land first and then they consider. I would have freaked out. <laughs> I would have thought it was mono blue. I'd have been so mad. This is a very cool deck, though, by the way. I really, really like what they're doing here. Oh, this is uh, activated again, by the way. Pretty sweet. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go and see what happens. A land. Yeah, that can go. My turn. Ooh, that's a card. That's a really good card. Or... A really good card. I don't know what to do here. I think I want to go greedy. I think I really want to go greedy here. I'm gonna go greedy. Gosh darn it. I probably shouldn't, but uh, I am. All right, let's see if we hit. Let's, I mean, it's all luck at this point with this card, but this card is just disgusting. All right, I'll take it. I will take it. Busted. Alright, so they've got a dinosaur. Oh, they got really everything they need. Which isn't good. Alright, they attack the face. All right, okay. Maybe they're missing something. Hold on. Uh, my turn. Okay, we've got options. We've got options. I think I'm going to go ahead and play this first, and then I'll play this. All right. Let's draw some cards. Not terrible, not terrible. Let's activate this. Drop the land that would come in tapped. Let's go here, create a power stone. Every power stone. Keep attacking. We might as well keep attacking. We've got a, a good blocker out there now. They choose the block probably because they need a Merfolk, I'm assuming. Dinosaur. Pirates. Merfolk. That might be what they needed there. Uh, which is fine, though. I should be able to find something I need here. Okay, so we'll put this in our hand. And hopefully a sweeper. No, but yeah, that goes on the field, right? Let's put that in the field. And there's so much, there's so much going on with this deck. There really is, but um, I'm okay with it, man. There's, I'll, I'll figure it out as we go. But it is, there's a lot going on, but it's a ton of value. All right, they drop another throne down. They switch them out, activating it right away. They're missing a vampire, I think. Yeah, they're missing their vampire. Honestly, that should probably do it. This turn, I think, is going to put the nail in the coffin here. This should put the nail in the coffin. Victory is assured. I am the master of this domain. Victory at any All right. I don't know why I did it that way. I really don't. Uh, let's go here. I'm just moving kind of fast right now because I really want my opponent not to, you know, be upset and scoop or anything like that. I want to make sure they have a, a good time as well. I don't want to take too long with my turns because we've clearly won the game. Nice. We play that for sure. And then next turn, we should be able to run away with the game because we're going to create these 11 11s every single turn. And we're getting really close to alting Karn as well. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. The fairy comes in. The other ruin comes down. We go here. On tap. Tap. On tap. We play this. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Dominaria's treasures will aid us. 
I mean, what are we even doing here, bro? Exactly lethal. Look at that. Exactly lethal because of all the extra artifacts we created off the Urza. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's just silly, man. Man, I'm telling you guys, that, that artifact that creates the golems... Eh, I knew that card was going to be silly, dude. I knew it was going to be so crazy. But, um... There's so many ways I can think of breaking it too. Not not just in a build like this where we untap it with Teferi and activate it right away um, and get multiple triggers with it. But you could also just do Mondrak. Mondrak's a great way to kind of, you know, toy with that. And it can also copy like the uh, Karn tokens. So, I mean, Teferi is definitely something you can switch out with like a Mondrak and have some fun with. Oh, wow. They're doing pirate stuff. Just straight up. Treasure map enters the battlefield. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm probably going to need to find a couple of uh, glass caskets. All right. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 counter on a pirate to your control. All right. I think I'm going to go here first before I decide which one I want to put the casket onto. All right. This is going to be a good game. This is going to be a tough game, I have a feeling, because they're moving very quickly, and I don't see a sweeper yet, so... Oh, don't love that. Did not expect the lightning strike. That is for sure. All right, we're going to go here first. We're looking for a sweeper. Sheesh. I got to keep these two cards, right? I feel like you kind of have to. Oh, it feels so bad dropping a card, but you know what? You got to do what you got to do. All right, we're going to take you. This pirate says uh, it has 1-0... And has haste for each artifact. Okay. Oh, as long as you control an artifact, it gets 1-0. Alright. That's a card. A pretty sweet card. Uh do we do play might stone weak stone first, or do we just go straight for it? Maybe we just go straight for it. I mean we have a ton. A ton of artifacts. Yeah, I'm going to go straight for it. Let's do it. I'm going to play the greedy play, but it's a good chance it gets removed here. I hope not. I hope not. If it's burn spells that they're using, it's not going anywhere. But if they have like a fading hope, I could be in a lot of trouble. All right. No, uh, no attempt to bluff or anything either. I would have probably let that get through because I, I didn't want to lose it. All right, Teferi, come on down. Don't worry. I face the Oops. Artifact. Okay. And no attacks. All right, so now we've got an extra land on the field. It's a good, good land because it allows me to keep creating these golems. The opponent, though, keeps playing tiny, tiny creatures, which is really tough for us to deal with because our, our sweeper isn't going to be able to hit these. Oh, I'm sorry, it can, it can hit these. It can hit these. I forgot how this works. I forgot. It's a brand new card. Sorry. I, I choose one and the rest goes away. No, this actually would work fine. Which I'll probably just do now then, because their their board is pretty wide here. Here's what we're gonna do. I want to make sure the mana gets tapped correctly here. Cause, well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because I won't be able to do anything with this land anyways next turn. All right. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pull the trigger on this like now. All right, and then we'll do the minus. Yeah, we'll do the minus. That's a card. That's a really good card. That's a really good card. All right, the opponent down to one card in hand. I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, shoot. Can this crew for cheap? It can. Uh, summoning sickness, though. Uh, deals five damage to target creature when it enters the battlefield. Okay, we're fine. 
we're, we're chilling. I could transform this, which would be pretty funny. But I don't feel like memeing right now. I feel like kind of doing what we need to do to win here. Which shuts down their ability to crew. Uh, let's go with this. go here because I need a I need to cast um shoot it can be a creature can it shoot I should have cast this that was a mistake that was a mistake I should have casted this I thought for some reason I, I thought I remembered this land needing to cast an artifact in order to create this probably because it's an artifact themed deck but it can create uh, cast creatures as well so I should have played the a call to get me a little bit more card advantage but um a fun game man fun game Wish we could have went through the whole way through and, uh, you know, seen just how out of control we could have gotten there. But what a game, dude. GG. All right. I mean, I can I couldn't ask for a better start than what we're having here, man. This is a very, very expensive hand. Do we keep this? Probably shouldn't. I probably shouldn't. But I'm gonna. Nah, I can't. I can't. I can't. Be smart. Be smart. That's so good. Okay. Thank God I get rewarded for not being an absolute dumb dumb. All right, I like the casket over the get lost here just because it doesn't give them any sort of value. And uh, we should be able to cast it on something here, obviously in the next three turns. So it should be valuable. Reckon a raid, okay. Doing some early damage, gaining a bit of life. Mythic Mike. All right, doing maybe some anvil stuff. I'm not sure. By the way, this card a lot better than I actually considered the first time around because I really, really thought that uh, if they had a board full of two, two power and less, it wouldn't be very good. But I forgot it still sweeps the board, which is so good. You just choose one of the creatures they get to keep. So this is actually so much better than I thought it would be. And I knew it would be good with us because obviously a call and Urza both um, really great cards for, you know, keeping as uh, a target for staying on the field. All right, so this is a 1-1 one, one at the beginning of your end step. If you descended, put a 1-1 one, one counter on this. Oh, and then they get to sacrifice it to minus XX. Okay. That has menace. So that's going to hurt. Interesting. Exile this from your graveyard. Incubate two. Activate aliens of sorcery. Okay. A lot going on here. A lot going on here. I think I'm going to go here first. I need a land. There we go. These are so valuable right now that I honestly think I'm going to drop the Urza. Uh, maybe the sweeper. Maybe the sweeper. All right, we're going to have to take another decently big hit from the opponent's uh, crude. Crude up 4-3 uh, over here. Uh, we'll take another glass casket. It's been really good for us. It's been really good for us. All right, these bank... Uh, Reckoners are these these reckoner raids. Sorry, they're not bank busters. They're reckoner raids. Uh, they are really really annoying. Uh, dies, scry one, and create a treasure token. Okay. I wish these hit artifacts. That's what I'm having trouble with right now. I probably should have kept my uh, what is that card called? The new one that destroys the target creature. I should have kept that. Interesting that they chose to sacrifice that now. They could have sacrificed it here, right? Or it could be... Okay, so it can sacrifice another artifact so they can get the... Okay, that's pretty ridiculously good. I like that a lot. We got to take away their crewing options, which will be nice, but God, dude, we're in trouble. We're honestly in a lot of trouble here. All 
All right. I think I'm going to go with the Urza, giving me more options for blocking. And then I'm going to take away their, their captain here. No attacks because we need to make sure we can block. We draw another card. It's a re restoration, which isn't bad. It isn't bad. I don't have much, much to hit here. Oh man, they can just crew that thing up again and again and again. What a bummer. Sure, sure. All right, it's a five powered thing. <laughs> I gotta block it. Yeah, we're probably dead here. This game is as good as over, I would imagine. I, I really like their build. This is pretty cool. Uh, very unique, very unique. I haven't seen this at all yet, so. Good on him for this deck, man. Very cool. Obviously, oh, we're dead no matter what you do. Good game, good game. We had a good run though. We had a really good run. Um, I don't know what I could have done differently. I think, I think honestly, if we don't throw uh, this way off the jump, I think we actually win the game. Obviously, it destroys, um, it destroys this at instant speed, which would have been obviously so helpful. We would have been able to shut it down immediately and we wouldn't even have much of an issue with the rest of the board uh, but you know i couldn't have uh i couldn't have anticipated the crew abilities on these uh artifacts that's really cool though because i want to do some crewing decks of my own but uh anyways let's bring it down that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. These outros are going to be a little bit quicker because of all of the recording I have to do today. But thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I really, really hope you enjoyed today's list. But mostly a huge thank you and shout out to the Mardu Mob. If you guys don't know, the Mardu Mob is the membership program on this channel. So these people help support me monetarily every single month. So at the end of every video, I'd love to give my appreciation to you guys to let you know I really do appreciate everything you do for me. But again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying Ixalan and we'll be back again here tomorrow with another video. Until next time, peace out. Hit him three times like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is Fizzy you No know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah. FTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, but the meta. This ain't cheap, yeah, it's